She's a transfer out of Penn State. She's actually a local product out of Lansing, Michigan. She plays for Lansing Waverly. There's one of the best three-point shooters in the conference in the country. Hot recruit coming in for Rutgers. And feeding Smith inside. It looks like a slightly. And whether that's a post posting up or whether that's a guard posting up, that time, Christy, it was Takia Mack trying to post up Michigan State. And quick hands here from Johnson, who will lead for an easy two. When you have both of these teams kind of playing in a frantic pace right now, you've got to knock the shots. Moira Joyner knocks down the three. And it's Kendall Bostick, number 44, with the ball, who has checked in now for Michigan State for the first time, as has Tyre Parks, who gets her first bucket. And they switch off on Garantes, and it's Bostick who is wrapping up Garantes. Fantastic defense there. And Johnson with yet another steal. Have a shorthanded situation because of injury. So when you come in, you come back on the court, you have to play with tremendous discipline on both sides. You've got to box out. That would crush me. More than a coach saying Christy box out, there's a lot more peer pressure when your teammates are telling you, hey, you've got to do better. Starting to look more like Tori Osment that we're used to seeing. And Mo Joyner as well, um, suffered with COVID. And Susie Merchant said that both of them kind of looked like heavy leg. Get herself back together. She was cleared on New Year's Eve, December 31st, and was able to get herself back into condition and get back on the floor. And Bostic, you could see she was looking for help. Her head was on a swivel. She didn't want that matchup. How about the nice touch pass and the finish from Alicia Smith, but a great assist from Kendall Bostic. They've been able to really play to their strengths of who is available to compete today. How about that move? I mean, Johnson did a pirouette, like a 180, a change of direction, a hesitation. There is a post touch and the kick out to Martino, who's got a couple of those. She's on fire. You can see Michigan State in their man-to-man -man defense. As we said, they're going to switch positions one through four. Rutgers now in a horn set, trying to get some isolation opportunities inside. It's Cloudin coming from behind. With both hands, who can pull that ball down and chin it. Talk about developing the good habits, and that was one of them as Max, who seems to be okay after that contact against Indiana. I remember that game. That was, that was tough. The bucket there for Singleton. See, Michigan State is over here offensively to begin the third, and Singleton with the stuff. Slow things down, play with more poise in the quarter court. Back with the turnaround, in for two, and what a great start here for the Scarlet Knights. Have put up 70 or more points in those five games, but credit Michigan State. It's a lower scoring output here today as Osmond beats the shot clock. They'll try to check it out. And there was some frustration by the players not taking proper cuts on that one. Well, here's Clown, and oh, what a beautiful pass, the no-looker to Tyre Parks for the finish. Pulling uphill, and that's never an easy thing when you're talking about attention to detail. There's a bucket for Garantes. It's the first bucket since really the beginning of this game. They've got to utilize some screening action, whether that's on or off the ball, to free some space. That's where she's dangerous with three on the shot clock. Garantes with a big three. Only she's got a quick five points to start this quarter. Suddenly, she's not playing with the frustrated mentality. And Rutgers turning over the Spartans. It's back with the easy two. Double team coming. Look at that against Garantes. Rutgers maintains possession. It's Giles, who's not a, really a three-point shooter, but looked great on that possession. Was employing her teammates to come and meet the ball. She was adamant and saying, I'm not doing that. I'm not settling for that. And she got that steal. Great energy on the defensive end. All the offensive struggles that we've seen from Michigan State and still trailing here by four. They are very much in this with two and a half to play. Winston. 
defense was the big story here today, and Rutgers make it six in a row with a 63-53 final.